Welcome back everyone, I'm The Depressed Eeyore, and this is Card Hunter. Um, I would like to apologize, apparently, um, usually when I check my videos to make sure they're okay, I usually just, I never really check the very end of them, because I've never had this happen before, but uh, I think it has to do with just the fact this is a browser-based game, and Fraps doesn't really like it that much. Um, it's been clipping the ends of my videos. It's not a big deal, I mean, you're just missing the outro, really, so no worries. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, well, I've been kind of juggling three parties now. Um, we've got our main party, which I always show you guys. Um, then I got a, um, a human priest with two, uh, elven wizards, and a human, I believe it's a human priest, a human priest with, uh, two, uh, elven warriors as my other two parties. I usually just use them to do, like, the previous, um, um, stages and stuff like that. Anyway, um, I did some changes to the party. Um, I got uh, Sunny Milk right now is specializing in purely penetrating attacks. So I've done some changes. I'm, I'm using the Woodhum's Wound again. Uh, pretty much with all this, there's only one, two, there's six attacks that are, well, seven attacks rather, seven attacks that aren't penetrating. And um, also I'm using the Defensive Buckler, which has a neg negative trait, uh, Fumble, which makes you discard your oldest card. But uh, it does give you some better blocking cards, like this one blocks any. This one blocks any, has a higher chance, and it can protect other uh, other party members, which is really useful. Um, Star of Sapphire, I just equipped uh, Green Spark Staff, which I picked up uh, recently, which just gives me access to... So two more uh, range attacks. Um, besides that, nothing much has changed. Uh, Luna Child. I think you've seen all the changes with her. Uh, actually, I did find another wariness, so I went ahead and equipped that. So now she doesn't have to worry about superstition anymore. So uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Also, just to, just to mess around. This is Karimi. This is my uh, one of my wizards. I am sporting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 different cards that make uh, little splotches on the terrain. It's, a, it's pretty amusing. It's actually rather effective if, you're, if you are good at counting uh, movement cards. Anyway, let's go ahead and exit here. And we can either go for Melvin's uh, ridiculous, uh, difficult uh, quest, or we can continue with where the compass sent us, which is Lord Stafford's treasure. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Lord Stafford's treasure and hope for the best. Legend has it that the compass of Zor shows the bearer the location of his heart's true desire. Alright, Lord Stafford's treasure. Using the compass of Zor, you are led to Lord Stafford's mansion. Stafford keeps a retinue of armed guards and a kennel of vicious dogs to guard his sprawling estate. Prove your worth, infiltrate these perilous halls, and plunder Lord Stafford's greatest treasure. Three larcenous battles. Okay. Pizza delivery. Hey, are you and your friends playing a game? Oh, no, um, we're working out, pumping iron, that sort of thing. Uh, right, well, don't get pizza greased on, uh, on your barbells then. Alright, the main hall. Lord Stafford's undead sea, uh, Mance's his summer residence. His staff are now on high alert after the raid on his summer hall estate. Uh, reinforcements have been summoned, and with the help of local wizards supported by a huge copper golem, copper golems use shredding strike to rip through their enemy's armor, and you're well advised to use block cards against these creatures. Good old Gary. Alright. Copper golem. A powerful metal golem patrols the main entrance. He laughs at your, at your uh, puny frame. I didn't realize golems can laugh. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and start things off. I'm going to go ahead and do Righteous Frenzy on Sunny Milk. Okay. I really kind of want these guys dead. Preferably soon. I'm not ready to duke it out with you yet. I'm gonna go ahead and back away. Okay. Just 
do perforated strike. You have parry. Yes, that's fine. I can live with that. Okay. Let's try again. Gotcha that time. And stay in place. Okay, one down. He's past turn. Let's go ahead and do bad medicine on you. And uh, let's go ahead and get away from here. I could do a drain touch. It's not necessary, though. Okay, he has solid mail. Yeah, pretty tough. It's that armor, like that head that the uh, those ma those armored skeletons used. Okay. Um, okay, I'm within range to use this at least. I'm gonna go ahead and use, um... Let's go ahead and back away. Okay, you pass turn, that's fine. Let's use boiling armor on you. Okay, he only had one armor card, that's fine. You got a parry? You don't. Threading strike. If any damage, any damage from this attack would be prevented by armor. That armor doesn't does not prevent damage, and it's discarded. Well, he, she didn't have any armor, so that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and unstable bolt. Purple blood. Wow. Oh, there goes that. Yeah. It still did six damage even though it, I don't even know why it bothered rolling. But whatever. Um Armor? Yes, you do. Use the cantrip to shift the turn to mine. Um, get rid of the weak armor. She's pretty much dead anyway, so... Ow. How much health do you have? Okay. Oh. You, di you didn't have any armor. Take this. Fire spray. health left. I'll boil your armor. You had one arm. No, you didn't even have any armor cards. Okay. In that case, die. Okay. Corridors lead off in different directions. The map indicated that the treasury lies beyond the chapel, which lies to the north. Okay. Hook me up. Uh, ah, improved telekinesis. Choose up to two targets. Uh, slide two. A weak little zap. And squeamish, which uh, is a pretty annoying uh, negative trait. Alright, let's go ahead and take on continue. We may have uh, have to drop the pretense that we're working out down here, Leaf.
We already have one member of the family casting spells of self-delusion. We don't need another. Alright. Uh, using... Oh, sorry. The Stafford family chapel is a musty and neglect neglected place. The present uh, Lord Stafford uh, worships the secular gods of food and wine and disdains the chapel and its tedious sermons. Guards will intercept you here. They find a willing ally in the form of Father Gregorius. Or Gregorius, rather. The priest in residence. Okay, so we're dealing with a healer. A mercenary, two men at arms, and a human priest. Alright, the mercenary is going to be a pain, be annoying. Awesome. Inhaler. So, that will give us um, an additional two damage whenever I use any piercing attack. Okay. Acid card. Most of these characters don't use blocking, but that's okay. Can I reach with anything? Nope. Alright, fast card. Dropped guard, so you dropped all your defenses. Let's do, uh... Lunging strike. Yep. I knew you had had a parry. Go ahead and bad medicine you. Okay, he's on the move. Healing blessing, okay. Now the question is, do you still have a parry? No, you don't. Goodbye to you. Oh, great. That is just what we don't need right now. Okay, you're back at full. Alright, I think it's about time to go ahead and get away from you guys. Yeah, I think that's best. Let's go ahead and move away. Move away. Okay. I don't think we need to worry about... Oh, I misclicked. That's awesome. Oh well. It was just an acid spill anyway. These guys don't seem to use armor. They rely on blocking. Oh, thank you for showing your back. Yeah, yeah, keep it up. I'll... I can keep up with this. For now, anyway. Let's go ahead and do, uh... Deadly Spark on you. Arcane Spray. Okay, you get out of here. Yeah. Alright, how are we going to do this? You're going to die in a turn. Okay. Go ahead and use Lunging Strike on you. Yeah. Clumsy. Fumble, I have to draw, discard my oldest card. That's really all we got. Or 
Coiling armor. Yeah, you don't have armor. Okay. That was a little painful. Locked. Yay. And Negatrate. And Bad Medicine. How much health are you down? Well. At least lose two hit points in the end. I think my uh, Penetrator is about to wear off. I think it just did. Yep, it did. Well, I can kill you. Ah, figures. Two block cards. Okay, now you're relying on healing yourself. That's fine. Stab. Inspiration. Weak strike. Did you just... Ah, he took a, he had a negatrate defensiveness. Um, if there's any unit within three squares of him when he's casting spells, he has to roll a, if he rolls a three or higher, it will uh, completely waste the spell. That's gonna hurt. And he got healed. I didn't really need, need to use that run, but whatever. Alright, good stuff. Aha, uh -huh. can't heal yourself now. You're dead. Okay, not too bad. That was a little bit smoother than compared to the last fight. Most players will think nothing of despoiling a place of worship. The GM may wish to imply that this sacrilege will not be ignored by the gods. Whether it is or not is entirely up to the GM's discretion. Uh, okay, Princess Rift Hopping. Eh, not too useful. This, on the other hand... Level 8 Uncommon Armor. Gives you uh, some solid mail. I think it's about time we go ahead and get our, upgrade our armor. Reliable Hide's nice and all, but we don't really need it. And Spiked Mail has its uses, but... Come on, it's Rusty Chain Mail. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take this. There we go. And we don't need the apprentice rift, rift topping, so there you go. Lord Stafford defends his treasury with a mercenary and several large guard dogs. He prefers to let others get blood on their hands and aids them with raise the alarm cards. He also uses a brutal warhammer and powerful smash cards to better uh, batter you into submission. Oh, great. Lord Stafford. You will never have my treasure, shrieks Lord Stafford. Okay, Lord Stafford apparently is not that powerful. Well, he's got bash cards. But he has raised the alarm, which is the big issue. So, yeah. What's your range right now? Okay. We can work with that. We're just going to go right in here. Raise the alarm, that's fine. Penetrating cut. Paler. Okay, he doesn't have any uh, parry cards. This is our opportunity. Block it. Nope. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll pull through. Because, uh... Yeah. Bungle bolt on you. Come on, block it. Oh, you... You suck so much. Alright. Healing burst.
Good. That's what I wanted you to do. Now you're dead. Okay. One down. Now we have to deal with the guard, do uh, the armored dogs. Which, uh... Let's go ahead and use bad medicine on one of them. We are kind of timed because Lord Stafford's right there. But, it's not too bad. Alright. We're pretty beat up right now. What do you just start? Yeah, he's got male lunging thrust. Okay. I have to play a trait card. Wait one second. Okay, Lord Stafford was the one that had the coward card. Okay. Uh, vulnerable, that's fine. We got some options here now. Let's go ahead and use Healing Blessing on you. Dog's probably going to move up. Okay, it's not. Boiling armor. Oh, please block this. Thank you. Luckily, these dogs can only attack once each, so we are kind of in the safe right now. Burn you. Six damage. Okay. With that, let's go ahead and try to acid you. Okay, that should kill you. Okay. All we have left is an armored dog and Lord Stafford himself. Spark generator. Of course, the main issue right now is... We're in a narrow corridor. A lot of, uh, looks like debris here. Okay, pulled back. Fine, I'll just use this on you. One, I'm just out of range. And you can't go any further. Okay then, pass yeah. turn. Discard a lunging thrust and a dash for now. And you can discard a fire spray. I probably should have used a boiling armor, but whatever. Okay, get some health back, that's good. Healing spirit. This does count as a heal. Okay, he had to discard everything, that's fine. Actually, that was the dog that did it, right? Yep, that was the dog, so the dog right now may only have one attack card. Test your armor. Okay, you have no armor. Attack skill. Okay, now he definitely has attack skills. Okay. And that's pretty much it. We can't do anything. Okay, discard a male and a penetrating lunge. Drain touch. Reach swing. Okay, you have one health left. Dead.
go ahead and bad mess on you. Okay, we have some elvish mobility. That's uh that's good. These things only move two, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and boiling armor you. Elvish mobility. Ah, you went in the wrong order. That's better. It's fine, I'll take your hit. Alright, let's uh Elvish mobility again. This time I can actually move. Money. No, no need to do that. Actually doing that put me out of the contested area, so that wasn't smart of me. That's okay. Doesn't matter, this battle's over. Nothing left. Onward. Okay. At last, you have found Stafford's treasure. Here in the treasure lies a mountain of gems and precious metals. There's more than enough here to keep you in, you in iron rations and meat until the end of your days. Level. Okay, we got crude polearm, which is it has some bash moves. That's okay. Crummy short sword has a lot of chops. Rusted angel mail, which is nifty, but I don't need it. And then. A rare divine weapon with a strong chop. A lot of buffs to chop. Blind Rage. Attach this card to yourself. Frenzy 3. At the end of, uh, at the start of each round, take 3 psychic damage for each attack card in your hand. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. So, wow, that's a pretty nasty card. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get out of that. And since now I finally got my trait, I'll go ahead and... I don't know. Actually, I don't think I need that. Bad luck is nice and all. Can't use that. Can't use that. A kind of good act, but I don't really like I don't really like blind rage, so Okay. So what we'll go with is what I was gonna go with initially. I'll get fickle mail. Why not? I don't think there's anything else I need. Nope. Okay. Take all and finish. Alright, so all we have left is uh, Melvilus the Magnificent, which was, uh, what's his name's uh, uh, module he made. Okay, um, that's about it for right now. Go ahead and go in here. And uh, I'll see if I can try to avoid clipping the end of this uh, video. So I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Card Hunter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later.